Hey, this is Matt from Vest Squad. Today is Friday, August 20, 2021. This has been a fairly bearish week in the markets. We had a strong Monday, but since then we have been pushing lower and here we are on Friday and it is options expiration week and we are trading uh, below some recent lows. So we're going to use uh, both of those pieces of information and run a quick study here based upon what has happened historically on options expiration day when you open below the prior week low. So let me go ahead and set that up here and discover with all four instruments. The setup is going to be based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now for the opening filter, we're going to use open below the prior week low. Now this means it can technically gap up or down. That doesn't really matter as long as the opening location is below the prior week low. So I'm going to go into opening area. I'm going to find open below prior week low, and I'm going to hit equals to add that to the study here. Next, I'm going to go into the indicator section. I'm going to put us in a weak bull market. We are below a 10, but above a 200 day simple moving average. And then lastly, I'm going to go into the market events library. And I'm going to say that today is options expiration day. So that is within the market events category. And it's also over on the active today. And that's where I'm going to grab it from right now is I'm just going to hit uh, options expiration day right here. When I click on that, it adds it to the test. And now I've got everything that I want here and I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when it is options expiration day and your opening location is below the prior week low. This is taking place below a 10 and 200 and above a 200 day simple moving average. We've got 17 samples to look at here historically in the S&P. The NASDAQ has 18, the Dow 19, and the Russell 18. So very similar sample sizes for all four instruments. The win rates on them are a touch weak on a few, with the S&P coming in at 47%, the NASDAQ 44%, the Dow 26%, and the Russell 61%. So the Russell's the only one that is not like the others there. If we look at the average win and average loss, the average loss is larger than the average win in the S&P and in the NASDAQ, as well as the Russell the Dow is the only one where the average loss is not larger than the average win, and it's pretty similar to the uh, average win size there. So three out of the four have been at least slightly weak on win rates, and three out of the four have larger average losses compared to their average wins. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.